What's up, guys? It is Richie, and I am here with Hightower. I thought you were rubbed my nut. Nope. Changed my name. Why? First video doing my name change with you. Why did you change your name? Ah, uh, you know, people were calling me it in public. And? It, it's awful. But this is Unlikely Finishers. Of course, we gotta start out with the weakest guy, Santino Morella, against Big Show. Wait, isn't Mysterio in this game? Yeah, but I know, I know he's, he's not left the, and all, He's but... not the worst. But of course, but Santino Morella. He's Mor tiny. So, Santino Morella <laughs> always has to lift the Big Show like that. I mean, you know, it's, it's yeah. only reasonable. That's what everyone has to do. Yeah, and then Santino Morella is just so strong that he throws Big Show across the ring. Wow. Yeah, it's all you gotta do to get the Big Show down, apparently. If Santino Morella can do it, obviously we can do it. Two, Probably. I don't know. Three. Maybe maybe if I have enough drugs in my system, I could do it. Yeah. Alright, and if I'm right, it's gonna show some replays. Yep. Whee! Almost kicked the ref in the face. Oh, hello, yeah. Kevin Owens. Alright, Kevin Owens and John Cena. Uh, this is John Cena's unlikely finishers. So, of course, John Cena is... Uh, Sometimes an idiot, but you've never seen him do a dancing leg drop like that before. Oh, wow, okay. Kind of brings back memories of uh, Scotty Too Hot, doing the worm. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that. Is it in there somewhere? It's in this. Uh... It's not John Cena, but it may or may not be the dead man. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> but, you know, John Cena always has to do a Dragon Rona. A Dragon Rona? What? It's that, that one where you front flip and then Hurricane Rona the dude. Ah. Woohoo! Dragon Run. <laughs> and then John and Cena. Oh, this is their third match. Ropes. This is their third match, by the way. They do it at this WrestleMania. It takes place at WrestleMania 30. And, yeah, and John Cena wins. What a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great Money in the Bank match this year. Yeah. Alright, now surprising. we have the dead man against his brother. Oh, I wonder what move he's going to do. Well, the first one's not the worm. Okay. The first one... Uh, is actually one of Justin Gabriel's, uh, well-known moves. I think I know what move it is. Alright, we're gonna go even up. he doesn't really appear until he's We're gonna do left. this, we're gonna do this 450 splash, and we're actually gonna land it pretty good. Crap! We missed it. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> you missed the mark, just by a little bit. Just by a little bit. I think I headbutted his pinky, maybe? Uh, yeah, that, the most devastating maneuver. <laughs> I can imagine that hurting a lot, though, like. Could you imagine someone's 10 pound head just hitting your pinky and crushing it between a floor? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. And then the about five seconds later. Summer Undertaker known for doing a 450 splash. Uh oh. What is this? Oh, God. Whoop. It is completely the wrong placement for it, but. <laughs> just watch. All of a sudden, Kane decides to slide across the Whee! ring. Tipping the Undertaker ladder around. is doing the worm. And wait for it. And up, boosh. Boom. So powerful, it rocked the ladder. All right, now we have the oh, guy that got owned at the beginning of the video. We got Big Show. What kind of moves do you think the Big Show is going to do? Uh, is he going to do a really boring punch that makes no sense? Yeah, totally. No, he's actually going to oh, do hello. this arm okay. whip. <laughs> now, what do you think was... Uh, I, w I don't want to say first or second. So what do you think was the third most iconic move done by Jeff Hardy? Uh, the wi is it the whisper in the wind, whatever it was, where there he ran and then just flipped off it. like crazy. That was awesome. Well, that's Big Show's Jeff move Hardy now. When I was this oh, is Big Show's move. I used to love Hardy when I was a kid. Jeff Hardy was my favorite, and then when he left, it was Edge, and then when Edge left, now my favorite is Dean Ambrose. Oh, Ambrose is Ambrose is great. Yeah. Still, Cesaro. he lost by fingertips at Money in the Bank. It's all about Cesaro. That's what I'm. I'm still waiting for him. 